All right, hello there, everyone. My name is Kronos006. Uh, lately, I've been watching a lot of Let's Plays, uh, just really old classic games that I've always loved. And I finally got to the point where I said, you know what, I'd like to try this. I'd like to see how this goes. I owe a lot of thanks to everyone out there who does Let's Plays. It's really a lot of fun. There are some really, really good, talented people that put together really good Let's Plays. I'll try to have a list for you all later that you can look at other ones. Um, I want to apologize if the sound doesn't come out that good. I do not have a microphone. I'm using the microphone in my laptop through my webcam. So I'm going to try to be clear. I'm going to try to speak loudly. And so hopefully it'll catch it all and everything will be fine. Now this game is one that's always been near and dear to my heart. It is King's Quest III to Air is Human, originally by Sierra, the good people Ken and Roberta Williams. Now I'm doing a remake by a company, not really a nonprofit company, at, called AGD Interactive. You can see the website is right there. This is a great, really talented group of people for complete free. You can download new versions, VGA versions of classic old games that really don't work that well anymore on the new systems. And really, this allows them to show off the new technology. It's hand painted artwork, great music. Anyway, enough of my blathering. Let's get down to business. Now, I'm not using a walkthrough. I've played this game so many times. I really shouldn't have any trouble with it. If I do, you all get to laugh at me as I fail. So, without further ado, here is King's Quest III to Ares Human. Huge round of applause for AGD Interactive. They did a great job. And the familiar intro screen. Let's go ahead and watch the opening. This is a continuation from the previous a uh, revamped version that AGD Interactive did, King's Quest II, Romancing the Stones. So this little side plot here wasn't really included in the original, but I'll just sit back and let you enjoy it.
anybody knows how to pronounce that name, S-T-I-J-N, please let me know. I have no clue. Steen? Steen? I know that's wrong. I, and I don't want to offend the guy, but I just have absolutely no idea. Poor girl. It could be a female name for all I know. With this game, you don't have to hear me yet yatter on yatter. Yapper. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I've never done one of these before, people. Just bear with me. Yammer on, because this game has its own in-voice, in-game narrator. Gwydion. Gwydion. Gwydion, what are you doing, boy? Boy. I was... just... looking. How dare you take leave of your duties? Resume your chores immediately. Yes, Mananin. Master. Had your parents survived your wretched infancy? The sight of your sloth alone would have killed them. They would not have been proud of me. No, but fate has favored you. Few orphaned youths can know such fortune. You are lucky to be here to serve me. I am very lucky. Indeed. Now get to work. Such is the story of young Gwydion's life to this point. What's a poor boy to do? Oh well, in resignation, Gwydion obediently follows Mananan into the house. <laughs> 